आई आई टी जैम फिजिक्स जे टी पी टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन इन दिस क्वेश्चन अ रेक्टेंगुलर लूप ऑफ डायमेंशन एल इन विथ डब्ल्यू इज केपन टू अस विच इज मूविंग विद द कॉन्स्टेंट वेलासिटी वी अवे फ्रॉम एन इन्फेनेटली लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट वायर कैरिंग अ करेंट आई इन द प्लेन सींग दैट लेट आर बी द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ द लूप वॉट इज द करेंट इन द लूप एट द इंस्टेंट द नियर साइड इज एट अ डिस्टेंस स्मॉल आर फ्रॉम द वायर नाउ इफ द रेक्टेंगुलर लूप इज डिसप्लेस्ड बाई अ स्मॉल डिस्टेंस डी एक्स द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स डी फाइव विल बी इक्वल टू बी इन टू एल इन टू डी एक्स नो मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ड्यू टू द इन्फेनेटली लॉन्ग वायर एट अ डिस्टेंस एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू बी इक्वल्स टू म्यू नॉट आई अपॉन टू बाई एक्स एंड इफ वी डिफाइन द मैग्नेटिक फ्लक्स वी विल गेट डी फाइव इक्वल्स टू म्यू नॉट आई अपॉन टू बाई इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी एक्स अपॉन एक्स एंड द लिमिट विल बी फ्रॉम आर टू आर प्लस डब्ल्यू If we further solve this integral, we will get phi equals to mu i l upon 2 pi log of r plus w minus log of r. Now we know that EMF induced, that is E, can be determined from minus d phi by d t. So here we will get mu not i l upon 2 pi 1 upon r plus w minus 1 upon r d r by d t. If we further simplify this equation, we will get e equals to mu naught i l b w upon 2 pi r r plus w. Now we know that to calculate current, we need EMF induced divided by resistance r. So we will get current as mu naught i l b w upon 2 pi capital R small r r plus w. So the correct answer here will be option C. Jam Physics JTP 2017 Question Number 14. In this question, the electric field of an electromagnetic wave is given to us, and is represented by a vector e, which is 2 k cap minus 3 j cap into 10 to the power minus 3 sine of 10 to the power 7 x plus 2 y plus 3 z minus beta t. Now we have been asked to calculate the value of beta. And it is given that c is the speed of light. Now we know that e equals to e naught sine k r minus omega t is our general expression. And in this question, we have been given that k is i cap plus 2 j cap plus 3 k cap into 10 to the power 7. Also, we know that omega is beta into 10 to the power 7. We can find the magnitude of k from the given vector, which will be root of 14 into 10 to the power 7. And according to the velocity formula, c equals to omega by k. If we put the given values, we will get beta equals to root of 14 c. So the correct answer will be option A. MCQ question number 18. In this question, we are having a uniform thin circular disc of radius capital R and mass capital M. A concentric square plate of side r by two is cut out from the disc as shown in figure. In this question, we have to find out the moment of inertia of the resultant disc about an axis passing through the center of the disc and perpendicular to it. So. We know that the moment of inertia of the uniform disc of radius capital R. and mass capital m about an axis which is passing through to center and perpendicular to it is i equals to mr square upon 2 and the mass of the cutting body that is square plate is equals to mass per unit area into area of the cutting body that is equals to m upon Area is pi r square into area of cutting body is r square by four. That implies mass of the cutting body is m upon four pi. So the moment of inertia of the cutting body at square plate is i dash equals to m upon twelve a square plus b square. This moment of inertia. 
is about an axis which is passing through to center of the plate and perpendicular to it by putting the value i des equals to m upon 48 pi r square by 4 plus r square by 4 that implies i des equals to m r square by 4 into 1 upon 48 pi so the resultant moment of inertia i is equals to total moment of inertia minus the moment of inertia of the cutting body about the given axis so i equals to mr square by 2 minus mr square by 2 into 1 upon 48 pi so i equals to mr square by 2 in bracket 1 minus 1 upon 48 pi so option b is correct iit jam physics jtp 2017 question number 20 In this question, a pendulum is made of a massless string of length l and a small bob of negligible size of mass m. It is released from an angle theta naught, which is given to us as theta naught less than one radian. So the pendulum is released from an angle theta naught from the vertical. When passing through the vertical, the string slips a bit from the pivot, so that its length increases by a small amount delta. in negligible time if it swings up to angle theta 1 on the other side before starting to swing back then to a good approximation we have been asked that which of the following expressions is correct now as we can see that it is a case of simple pendulum and if theta is the angular displacement then the potential energy at the extreme position can be defined as mgl 1 minus cos theta and at the mean position the same potential energy will be converted to the kinetic energy so the kinetic energy at the mean position will be again the same mgl1 minus cos theta now if we apply the law of conservation of energy here we will get mgl bracket 1 minus cos theta not will be equal to mgl plus delta 1 minus cos theta 1 instead of 1 minus cos theta not in 1 minus cos theta 1 we can write sin square theta not by 2 in sin square theta not theta 1 by 2 that again after simplifying the expression in the form of sin square theta by 2 which will be 2 sin square theta by 2 if theta not and theta 1 are small we can simplify the expression further and we will get theta 1 equals to l upon l plus delta to the power half into theta not which can again be simplified into theta 1 equals to l plus delta upon l to the power minus half into theta not now we know the expression that if delta is very less than l we can simplify this particular expression as theta 1 equals to 1 minus delta by 2 l into theta not so the correct option here will be option b